Give me your best guess on the post-mortem in Buffalo that's already begun. What do you so, think? So this reminds me, I, I I keep making these comps. Like, I hope you're not bored. With no, them. no. Um, I'm fa- come on. We're fascinated. You got you had to say hello, Albert. Like t- this feels got? to me like the Tony Dungy Buccaneers, doesn't it? What do you mean? A team that, like, like, a coach comes in, does a great job, phenomenal job, building it up, and they just can't get over the hump. And they've been on, they've been hitting this glass ceiling for years and years and years. It feels like the Tony Dungy Buccaneers a little bit to me. Oh, you know? okay. So who's the Gruden? And, you know what, what they what the well, and, did was they well, and so that the the follow up questions there are who's the Gruden and are will the Pagulas go ahead and say. So I, a sayonara to their coach, who's not, you know, in any anybody's mind, a, a Hall of Fame possible resume right now, despite his immense success in Buffalo. Albert, yeah, I would don't. They do it? I, I don't think they're going to. I okay. don't think they're going to. But it's something to think about because they like. Does it feel like something needs to be shaken up a little there? Whatever it is. I mean, what else is there? They, you know, the defensive coordinator, the offensive coordinator, yeah. you know, and. And, the, and it's, I don't know. It's and tough. That's, the, that's tough. the thing is like, have you gotten to that point where it's like, this is the only thing left? Well, I mean, right? the special teams coordinator, because Bass missed the field goal. And one, once upon a time, yeah. there was a 12th man on the field. I mean, I, I, I'm being facetious, yeah. but the, it really, I, I don't know what else to say. Because the one thing, we're, we're not coming out of this game saying that one decision, that was ridiculous. Right. We're pointing and at then, that moment, and, they lost to the Chiefs, you know? And then the flip side of it, the flip side of it, Rich, is like that, like you go back five years, Connor Orr, who I work with at SI, like brought this up on our podcast a minute ago. Mm-hmm. Um, like, look at Harbaugh five years five years ago. Like they were almost running him out of Baltimore, right? Mm-hmm. Like how dumb would like? And and if you go and you look at like the guys who got jobs that year, that off season, like Freddie Kitchens, Cliff Kingsbury, Adam Gase, that's the market they would have been going into. So that's the flip side of it. Is like. You know, you've got yeah. a guy you're comfortable with who's clearly good at the job. Like, do you want to go back into the wilderness? <laughs> yeah, I know. But this wilderness has Belichick, Harbaugh, and Vrabel that's, sitting in see, it, brother. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's so a different like, wilderness, you, yeah, to say the least. It's not the wilderness. Yeah, yeah. And you have Josh Allen to offer up, right? Like, you have, like, hey, come coach Josh Allen. With you the OC in place. Be- with the OC so, in place. I mean, I think clearly right. Joe Brady and Allen. Allen's come out and said, I, I don't want to change the offensive coordinator. Yeah. And he also said, you know, hey, uh, McDermott leaves the offense alone. So yep. um, I I don't know what the answer is there. I just that would stun me, right? If, I, it, if yeah, that's the no, answer. I think, that they, I think they hang on to Sean. I think the roster part of it's more interesting because I do believe like the, the the windows open as long as as Josh is there. I agree. Um, but like with this particular group, it's not not wide open anymore because I mean like the guys they've won with over the last seven years and guys who come onto their roster over the last seven years that are core pieces, Tredavious white, Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde, um, you know, Ed Oliver is younger. What about than, Diggs? Than the rest of these guys? What about but Diggs? Diggs, Deion Dawkins? Like a lot of these guys are over 30 now. Like, so there's like the big picture, like, do we run it back or do we start to retool a little bit? Question two, particularly in a, in a year when, I mean, like now, this could be restructured. This could be restructured. So you know, the number's malleable, but they're looking at like a Josh Allen's cap number tripling next year. Hmm. So like, there's just like, I think there are big picture decisions that need to be made as far as the roster goes. And then there's that question again, like, can you run it back, or does this does this group need to be shaken up a little bit? Um, you know, they've obviously done a great job building there, but you know, like this is. It feels like this offseason is a very real crossroads for them. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.